I just have to say I'm recording this video right after Warhorse Studios officially announced they are releasing Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 this year. This is not a drill. This is not a joke. This is reality. It's not a rumor anymore. So I'm very happy. I started playing this game in the hopes that Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 would be released um, shortly after it was done and to have a seamless transition between the two games. So if you were wondering, yes, I will be playing Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 when it's when it's going to be released. I did not watch the trailer just yet because I'm still recording and playing this game and I'm so afraid of spoilers. So no, I didn't watch it just yet, but I will. I will. When the time is right. So for now, let's continue Henry's story. Time for a morning bath. It's me first. It's not very polite, and I'm sorry about that, but I have a long way ahead. So I was talking to Father Godwin the other day, and um, apparently he's having trouble with a woman. It's always a woman. Am I right? Anyway, she's apparently practicing witchcraft in the woods. And uh, this is giving me flashbacks from what happened to Yowanka. Not that she was practicing witchcraft. But these types of accusations, it could be really bad. So I'll go and speak with her. But the thing is, she was encouraging people to practice witchcraft with her or something like that. Her name is Gertrude. She's a herb woman. And she brought a few Ujits women to witchcraft. They want to use a magic ointment, risking their lives and immortal souls. So this is serious stuff. I'm going to go visit her. She's close to Tolmberg and Ujits, it seems. A thief! Well, I can't let that happen. Catch him. I'll try, but... I'm in full plate, so it's heavy. Thief. Thief. A thief. How dare you, sir? I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. Just have to catch my breath. Oof. You're a bandit. How dare you? You twisted my arm? No. Do not do that. Well, I caught your thief. He just has to wake up. Are you looting him? You're taking back what's yours? You showed him. Exactly. Thank you. A thieving magpie. I got an achievement, Bard. These days. <clears throat> and just so you know, I'm no pinch purse. Here's a small reward. Thanks. Well, thank you, dear sir. I will cherish these four Grushin. I'm not sarcastic. It, it is an honor. And you! How dare you! I'll leave you be. Where was I? Oh, right. On my way to Ujits. So come on, Albi. Yeah. If Gertrude isn't listening to Father Godwin, would she listen to me? I'll tell her. I'll tell her what happened to my friend Yuanka. She has a house in the woods. I... I don't think I've been here before. This is very... This could be perfect for an ambush. Hmm.
This is a lovely place. I... I don't think I've ever been here before. A lake? Wow. house um hello I'm Henry God preserve you good night can I do something for you well hello I I've come from the priest I've come from the priest they're saying you incited some women to witchcraft me witchcraft he's not wasting That's time but idle chatter so she denies it. Old hag, no, I... I mean you well. You'd be wise to give me a straight answer. I mean you no harm. As long as it's the truth you speak. Very well. I'll tell you everything. I've okay. done a very foolish thing. It's preying on my mind so much I can't sleep a wink. What has she done? to believe an old witch has pangs of conscience. Laugh She's not an like, old witch. It's not a word of a lie. You probably know I sell various magic lotions and potions alongside my herbs. Well, there's huh. one I wish I hadn't sold. You see, Vera so she's Zwarte not denying that Kuta she's practicing Kuta witchcraft. Wanted a magic ointment from me. I kept refusing them, but in the end, I let them talk me into it. What ointment? What kind of ointment was it? One that will show you a world no one else can see. A place of wonder and terror. The really? flowers might start talking to you. Or the earth could swallow you up. I don't know huh? if it's the work of the devil or of God himself. But the ointment has that power. But it could poison any person who doesn't know how to use it right. So all this talk of witches anointing themselves and then flying to their sabbaths on broomsticks. The ointment <laughs> could make a person see such things. But it was stupid of me letting those foolish women get their hands on it. They could poison themselves or fall off a cliff while they're lost in a dream. Huh. So the woman begged her for this ointment. Will you give me the recipe? Will you give me the ointment recipe? It's just it for scientific Belladonna purposes. And the herb Paris, both quite poisonous plants. That ought to make you think twice about dabbling with it. And why did you let them have that ointment? So why did you give them the ointment at all? Because I'm soft-hearted. You see, one of those women, Vera, lost her whole family in Scarlets. And Zlata's husband was killed. Oh, wow. And the youngest of so them, they've had it rough. miscarried with the horror of it all. They said they wanted I to don't use blame the them. ointment to speak with the dead and ask them to put a word in with oh. the Lord. Yeah. I understand how they feel. Yeah. But I reckon it'll get them nowhere but the ducking stool and the stake. Judge not, lest ye be judged. He's not wrong. I didn't want to give them the ointment, but they offered me a pile of groschen. So I thought how desperate they must be, and I heard their plea. Their plea, or the clink of their coin? <laughs> well, maybe both. And why are you so worried about them all of a sudden? What changed your mind? I'm losing sleep over it. Firstly, those women don't know what they're doing. And secondly, folks there's might rumors see it as already, witchcraft. so. And do you know what they do to witches? They burn them alive. That they do. So don't be surprised, I'm worried. It didn't bother you before, though. Hmm. So, what did they want the ointment for? Well, she said. What did they want the ointment well, for? Not directly, Each but. Each one of them lost a loved one recently, and it's grieving them. They wanted to talk with the dead. 
Okay. I've heard enough. Well, thank you for that. If you've heard enough, you must understand why I need your help. Find out from those women what they intend, and watch over them to keep them safe. I'm gonna help her. Very well. But only because the priest himself asked me to. Thank you a thousandfold. I'll go to the reverend myself. So Henry's being explain. cautious. You take care of those women. God be with you. Hey, I understand why. This is a serious matter. I'm gonna speak to the village woman about the magical ointment. Hmm. So now, do I have that recipe? I'm just gonna check. She said Belladonna and her Paris. I don't see it. I thought I could craft it. Huh. Okay. So, are they all in Ujets, these women? They are. Okay, I'll go speak with them. Come on, Albi! I think it's fascinating that um, a woman could be going through trauma. What? What's that? It's just me. And I'm thinking out loud. I'll be with you in a second. But yeah, women would um, maybe go through something traumatic and then... <sighs> Without having the proper support system around them, they get into a lot of trouble. I feel like this is a bit what happened to you, Wonka. Okay. They're... They're panicking. It's just me, Slata. Well, hello. My name is Henry, and I've heard about a magical heard ointment. About a magical ointment. Really? I'd like to know where from. And what concern is it of yours, anyway? I understand your question, but I've been sent by the herb, the woman. herb woman. I don't want to scare them. Gertrude? What does she want? More money? No, it's not that, but um, that ointment is uh, it's dangerous, it's not actually. About money. She's concerned about your health. That ointment can be dangerous, and she wants me to make sure you don't do anything foolish. So she was she having second thoughts. That. I can't believe it's all that serious. If she's really worried, tell her to come with us to the crossroads at night. But not a word Why? to anyone else. Okay, but I have to speak with the other women. I'm gonna speak with all of them. They need to understand. Hello. It's just me. Don't be afraid. I just want to speak with you. Vera, don't be like that. My name is Henry. Vera! I heard something about a magic ointment that you got from the herb woman. You heard that where? And what business is it of yours? I completely understand. The herb woman sent me. Gertrude? What does she want? Oh, maybe they s all say the same enough? thing? That's not the point. The ointment's dangerous, and the herb woman doesn't want you getting up to anything foolish. Thanks for the concern, but we're grown women. We're old enough to make our own choices, and what we do oh in the God. woods at night is no one's business but ours. You must understand that I could be concerned. I'm a concerned citizen. So she told me politely to... Leave her alone? And what about the other woman?
What they do at night is none of my concern. I think it's you. Ah. Well, hello, Kuta. I've heard something about a magical ointment. What? Who told you that? Was I don't want to bother you. Well... Um, the herb woman, actually, is concerned. And what did she say? Does she want to add something to the ointment? No. She's worried about what you'll do with it. It's quite dangerous stuff. Try the soft approach? I know that this seems harsh. You could be burnt at the stake for what you're doing, but if they don't realize, it could be really dangerous for them. So... What I've heard already amounts to a burning offense. Wait. Really? If yes, buys you need to be careful. What am I supposed to think they want it for? Let me take a wild guess. Witchcraft. And witches deserve to burn. We're doing no wrong. We go to the woods alone, at night, and we hurt no one. I won't say any more. You might twist it against us. They need to trust me. So, I guess I'm going to go to the meeting place and check on them. They need to understand this could be seen as something really bad. So, I'm going to try to talk some sense into them. witchcraft always witchcraft I'm gonna wait here I'll be wait she said oh follow the woman well she told me where so at dusk. So dusk is right before it's the night time. Well, I'm... I'm gathering herbs. It's gorgeous with Albie behind Henry. I'm just, um, a concerned citizen, and uh, I'm gathering herbs. I'm gathering herbs. Stay out of my way. Herbs, my foot. You're <laughs> that sneaky lad that was nosing around asking us questions. Get lost. She's not the kindest. You could say that. You could say that, but... I'm gonna follow them. They're gonna get into trouble. Mind me lurking, right? We're all here. We can set off. Is it far? Not at all. Oh. You again? Oh, girls, this is pointless. Let's go home. Uh oh. Yeah, I agree with you. So, okay. So I should follow them without them seeing me. Okay. 
Well, I'll be here tomorrow night. Maybe I won't wear my whole kit. I'll be sneaky. So they, I couldn't convince them to come with? I have to spy on them? Oh, it says I was too impatient and interrupted the women. So they turned and went home. Next time we should be more careful. Okay. The trail led from the herb woman straight to the women she sold the ointment to. They wanted to smear themselves with it and invoke dark powers to rid the land of the cumins. Okay. I'll... I'll sleep at the at the inn, I guess. And, uh... We'll go in the morning. So, it's the following morning. And, uh, I'm gonna go to the meeting place again. Why did my quest point disappear? Okay, I'll go speak with them. They better tell me. I could always follow them, sure. But I'd prefer if they told me. Well, hello, Zlata. You won't speak to me anymore. You're so secretive. I thought we had some type of trust. Okay, well, I'm just gonna follow them. I have no other choice. I'm not spying on your wife, sir. I'm just... looking after... a fellow citizen. I could wear something... uh, less flashy. Not bad. She's still in her house. Are they gonna meet at the same place? Your wife is a little bit shady, sir. I have to hurry. Are they meeting already? They're making their way. To the meeting place, so... Oh, there they are. I'm not gonna fail this time. I'm gonna follow them at a reasonable distance. They want to summon some dark spirits? This has nothing to do with speaking with the dead. Nothing to worry about. I'm just a man hiding in tall grass. In spying on women. But it's for their own safety. They don't trust me. I'm gonna keep my distance this time. We're all here. We can set off. Is it far? Not at all. But we should put the ointment on now. It takes a while to start working. Where exactly do you put it on? Well... There? You know? I feel shy. <laughs> so playing games with the devil is alright, but dabbing some ointment on your cunny is going too far. Aye, well... Where are they dabbing the ointment? For a bit. I'm not sure. <sighs> Don't worry. Plenty of women have tried it before us. What if it does work? What if he does appear? But that's what we want, isn't it? 
Let's go. Okay, so they're leaving. Where are they going? No torch, nothing? I don't want them to get attacked. Well, they have little lanterns. I can barely see them anymore. This is spooky. There's fog over there. Excuse me? Okay. So I followed them. And now what? We all know what to do, don't we? I'm not altogether sure. Gertrude didn't want to say anything about that. So all we know is what we came up with ourselves. Damn. I feel all peculiar there. The ointment is the main thing, and we'll think up some chant or two. Just let's get it over with quick. I keep hearing weird noises. When shall we three meet again? In thunder, lightning, or in rain? When the hurly burly's done? When? When? Damn it! The battle's lost and won. What's that nonsense you Matt, don't get too close. It, it came out of me all by itself. My vision's blacking out. And I feel the earth moving. Maybe this They're blacking out? Idea. We're not doing it for our sake. Our intentions are pure. There's nothing to worry about. Silence. Hush now. Do you hear that? As if someone was singing. That'll be the tree roots. The earth speaks to us. Like Gertrude said, why is it getting so dark? It's singing very loud. They're Make gonna hallucinate. Stop. At least for a while, please. My head hurts. Don't be scared. Let it happen. Lucifer, star of the morning. We're Whoa, they're calling Lucifer? The what is it? Where are you going for us? I hear I feel footsteps. The coming. I'll go toward him. Show him the way to find us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. What are you praying to the Virgin Mary? You'll scare the devil away. Stop praying and speaking of death. They want to call on the devil. Satan, appear and send pestilence on all the humans. I'm coming to meet you. Lord of darkness, we are here. Come unto us. Lord of darkness, we are here. Come unto us. So one lady... Who's there? Just me. I haven't found anyone. Who's me? You're Lucifer, aren't you? Thank you for heeding our call. Send the plague down. I hear someone coming. Oh, Who's there? They, they heard me. Is it you, Kuta? No, I'm still over here. What's going on here? Oh, welcome. I Bring know. Some darkness. <laughs> and make yourself at home. What would you like us to do? We no. will fulfill your every wish. Henry, if you fulfill us. <laughs> What's happening? Prince of Darkness. Okay. What in God's name are you babbling about? Why are you testing us? Testing you? Jesus Christ, what have you been smearing on yourselves? A magic ointment from the herb woman? We are ready to pleasure you, Lord. In return, all we ask is that you rid us of the humans. And if you won't rid us of them, 
Then help us get away from here. Give us riches so we can start I don't think I can speak with them the when they're in that state. I shan't be fulfilling your wishes. I won't be fulfilling any of your wishes. Oh. What must we do to please you? Or They're what? hallucinating. In return, you'll have to... Have to... Shit. I feel very weird. <laughs> he feels weird. What's happening? Oh, that ointment. Oh, you no. The ointment on me. Fear not, my lord. Nothing will happen to you. It's all part of the ceremony. Oh, no, no, no. What the fuck? What did he do to me? What's that? I couldn't see you. Well, after your long journey. Huh? Long journey? What? From the gates of hell to here. When will you take care of the humans? And why don't you have horns and who Is that horse talking you, to me? Like the priest said. What's going on? Why are you a horse How come you're a and why are you talking? Mare? What mare? Does your sight deceive you? I'm Vera, and I turn many a young man's head in Ujits. Um, I flew in on a tree I branch. flew in on a tree branch. It took no time at all. Flying on a branch? I don't think I can talk Will to them like that. Will you teach us how to do that too? We are your mate servants now. We'll do anything you wish. I wish you to be careful. Um, Am I the pig? Actually, I is that Albi? <laughs> What's that, oh Lord? Will you serve What's me going on? And do all I tell you to. Oh yes, our Lord of Hellfire. We'll do whatever you want. Just rid us of those wretched humans. Which one will you take first? Me. Take me. No, me. And what about the other one? Why doesn't she speak up? Kuta, you chicken, speak up! I have to choose! I want you, chick. I want you, hen, hen. Cavort? Huh? Am I in a genjutsu? What's happening? Lockpick. Huh? I I don't understand what's happening. Is that a metaphor? That was tough. Oh, but I'm all dizzy again. What is wrong with you? Is something going to come What up did I lockpick? I need to... to sleep. Bugger sleep! What was that? What is it? Someone coming! <sighs> oh, uh, okay. Whoa! <laughs> Do I have my weapons? Bugger. I don't. Wait, first of all, my second boy. What are you supposed to be? Show what you're made of. 
Bring it on! A bandit? A bandit? Ow! My head! Ow! Sick him, boy! Can you? Wait. I want my weapons. Okay, what the heck was I doing with my fists? <laughs> You're already on a different kind of trip? Huh? What happened here? Shit. Oh my god. These are no demons, just flesh and blood woodcutters. I'll never be oh able to no. explain this to anyone. That fucking ointment. Damn that old well, hag. Now what? What were they doing? Did I kill them? Oh, but it said bandits. Am I still hallucinating? I... Are they still there? What have I done? What have I done? My... I have to tell the parish priest what happened? Well... I woke as if from a bad dream. On the spot where the devil was being invoked yesterday are the dead bodies of woodcutters. Oh no! Okay, I'm gonna go see Father Godwin. This is bad! Come on, Albie. I'm not exactly sure what happened. But I was not in my right mind. I see nothing! I'm lost. Yeah. What time is it? It's early in the morning. What have I done? I mean, they put that thing on me, the ointment. So... Yeah. I'm gonna go see Father Godwin. I'm not sure how he's gonna be able to help me, but... And what am I even gonna tell him? That they were calling on Lucifer? I'm gonna wait for Father Godwin. This is bad. I just wanted to help them. Not be a part of their ritual. Can I bathe? I want this ointment off of me. What happened? What was that? What was that lockpick? Father Godwin, we need to speak. I... Listen, I, s I know something. I found out more about the Ujit's witchcraft. Pray, yeah. you tell. The women have got hold of some magic lotion from the herb woman, and they're using it to summon the devil. For the love of heaven. I followed them to where they held their Sabbath. They summoned the devil, danced around a fire. Oh my god, what else? The women were completely out of their minds from that ointment. Then some woodcutters stormed in. They wanted to put a stop to the witch's Sabbath. Good God. And what happened? <laughs> I had to kill the woodcutters to save those women from them. For Christ's sake! How could you? Such needless slaughter! Those men meant well! Was there no other way I to stop the I didn't know they were woodcutters. The woodcutters were beside themselves with rage, 
baying for the women's blood. There was no reasoning with them. There must have been another way. I... I did all that was in my power. I did everything I could. The good Lord observes your deeds. Pray for the souls of those it unfortunate It said they were Christians. bandits. Pray, because you have blood on your hands. At least you see where dancing with the devil can take you. Pray for their loved ones and for your soul and mine, because we share the blame. And now please, go. Leave oh, me no. Alone to pray. Good luck, then. But then... A bad trip. I had a dance with the devil. I didn't want to. Listen. That's that's it. <laughs> so what happens if um could I have gone to the herb woman instead? Maybe not. Maybe not. Well, what a trip. I thought they were bandits, Albi. I didn't know. If I'd known they were woodcutters. I didn't even know if that was real. Oh, I wish that would have went differently, but I really thought they were bandits. What's gonna happen with those women, though? I'm not sure, my quest doesn't say I don't have my quest anymore. Huh. Are we gonna get an update at some point? I don't know. Hopefully they'll be fine. Was this here before? This cart. Never noticed it before. Okay, so I'm gonna go to Ratai. And the bailiff told me there was a vicar visiting. And, uh, I think he needed help with something, so... I'll check in. I'll go to Ratai. These onions will Come on, Mutt! It says there's a quest at the castle. I'll check it out. Dad. Mr. Hanish? Hello. God bless you. What troubles you? You asked for me. Henry! Just the man I want to see. I need help with something. What's the problem, sir? The Archbishop's vicar has come to Ujits. Okay, that's the vicar quest. Exactly, but the rumor is that he's on the hunt for heretics, which frankly uh -oh. never meant any good, especially for me. Why? What does a vicar do? I'm sorry, but I'm not really up on religious ranks, sir. What does a vicar do? Exactly. I actually don't, don't know. You don't have to apologize. It's the devil's own work to make sense of their twisted hierarchy. The vicar is short for vicarious, meaning in place of. He has full power to act on his superior's behalf. I see. Okay. In this case, sadly, the superior in question is that nincompoop, Archbishop Zbigniew Herr of Hassenburg. And what should I do? What should I do Where do I him? come in? Firstly, find out why he's really here. So he we might don't know. He be on the hunt for heretics, which wouldn't be good news. Or it's equally possible he's here to size up my estate, which would be even worse. I understand. And then what? Could the they do that? for me and all concerned would be for him to pack his bags and go back to Prague. And how can so I it's um, never good encourage news. him to do that? I can't just kick him out, can I? No, of course not. But if you can make him believe there's nothing to find here, he'll be off in no time. So tell him I've sent you to assist him. I've just finished 
and my task is helping to the priest with witches. Indeed. <laughs> um, what if there actually are heretics? And what if there really are heretics? My boy, my boy, have you ever seen a heretic? No. There, you see, I <laughs> haven't either. Most of the time, the prelates just invent them to scare folk with. So don't put much faith in their existence. But so it's a term they would but use. What if there really are some? Then deal with them. It's but a make term sure the church would use. I mean, get out of here. And um, is there something going on with the archbishop? Are you at odds with the archbishop in some way, sir? No, I've never even seen him. But that's no guarantee he doesn't have his eye on my estate. Sir Radzik is just chilling. He's an archbishop. They have long fingers, my boy. Ew. Now, without the king around, it's the perfect time to amass a nice little horde. Believe me, I know. They say in Prague that he's a complete dolt. But I rather doubt that. Why? All the Hare clan are as shrewd as they come. I know that better than most. Hmm. Uh -huh. So, I shall get started right, right away. Get going straight away. Good luck, Do lad. I have to go see that vicar? Be careful. Clergymen are wily weasels. So take care. I'll be careful. Don't worry, Sir Hannes. Good luck, then. He's really trusting me with that. Waldensians? Ujits has an uninvited guest, the Archbishop's Vicar. So I have to go to him, convince him that there's no heretics, and send him on his way, basically. He claims to be here to hunt down a group of heretics? But Sir Hanish is of a different opinion. He thinks the Vicar has come here in order to snoop around his own estate. So he wants to send the man back to Prague, basically. I have to get rid of the vicar and talk to the man. And he's in Ujits, they said. Huh. Okay, so I'll go back to Ujits. I'll stop by the bathhouse to get a good wash. And uh, then I'll be on my way. What time is it? Perfect. I have to repair my gambeson. Hello, Taylor. I'm honored. I have a ripped such as you takes an interest in me. I have ripped my shirt. God be with you. And my weapon rock. So if you don't mind, please. Thank you. My father would be proud of me right now. Oh, oh. <laughs> Accidents happen. See? Near perfection. Great, so I'll be off to Ujits. Where's the man? At the church? Would make sense. Well, hello, Father Godwin. Good health to you. And good health to you. I just wanted to say hi. Oh. He's... Well guarded. Well, hello, vicar. What do you want here, lad? God My save, name is Lord Henry. Lord. My name's Henry, and I've been sent by Sir Hanish of Lypa. Sir Hanish, hmm. And why is he sending you? I'm to assist you in your search. Yes. Oh, I see. I can be very helpful. How considerate of him. Well, <laughs> you've come at the right time. I need someone who'll go unnoticed among the locals. I'm sure Sir Hanish told you what Was I'm that a dig? Here. He said you're looking for heretics? Exactly. 
I'm seeking out the sores that inflict the body of the church. The rash of heretics. The sores? Valdensians. Dangerous heretics, Whoa. one and all. Valdensians? What can I do to help? How can I help you then? Excellent. Let's get right to the point, Henry. I know how to get to where the heretics congregate. And what's stopping you from going there, sir? That is to say, I know in theory. The crux of the matter is this. We caught a heretic in Gutenberg who told us of the heretics in Uschitz. Regrettably, by the time he got around to describing their meeting place, he was already raving and hardly coherent. I see. Because you were torturing him? So do you know where they meet up, or don't you? Possibly. His account was confused, to say the least. I have a record somewhere here. Can you read, boy? I can. Of course I can, Naturally, dear sir. Boy. Otherwise, Sahanish wouldn't have sent me. I see. It's a good thing at least the servants of the nobility are getting a suitable education. Some of their own offspring can hardly write their own names. Here's the record of the interrogation. From what I can make out, his description of the route starts at the local tavern. Once you've found something out, come back and see me. I'll do my best, father. Okay. I'm not sure. Is he insulting me? Slightly? Will the locals trust me? Well, I'm not from Ujits exactly, so I don't know how well they'll accept me. That's good, because the last thing I need Henry's is one of humble. these local good-for-nothings. I can't trust a single one of them. Whoa. And they don't trust me either. But you're an ordinary lad with a likable face. If a bit ah, simple. well, thank you for that. You'll have a much better ah. chance of learning their secrets. You flatter me, Monsignor. <laughs> Very well, then. Do you have any suspects? any suspects? Everyone is a suspect. You can be sure of that. Oh, boy. But I'll know more after I finish the interrogations. Okay. And, um... Why do you suspect there's heretics How here? How did you conclude there are heretics here? We caught one in Gutenberg. He confessed to everything, including meeting up with others in Ujits a few times. And that was all he told you? By the end, all his strength had left him. So he couldn't even put together a list. What did you do to him? Yeah, I expect you put him to torture. I won't say that, but... I see. I see. I'm pleased to hear it. And uh, who are the Waldensians? I've never... Who are these Waldensians? The... I've never heard of them. Repetition really? lost? Then you've either not been paying attention in church, or the parish priest in Ratai is too idle to read out the bishop's missive to the congregation. Okay, um, sir. Both possibilities are equally disturbing. We've been attacked by humans left and right here. Doubt, and assume it's the latter. But to answer your question, it's a heretical sect. I gathered that much, but what form does the heresy take? Look, boy, I don't have time right now to embark on theological disputation. Besides which, it's not something you need concern yourself with. Suffice it to say, they are heretics. My very well, gosh, you are not very likable, sir. I shall be going, and I'll thank you for that it, lovely chat. God be with you, my son. Yes. God be with you as well. Okay. So... He gave me an earful, and also find the Waldensian's congregation. So I'm to help him find these heretics, and then he'll be gone. There's some quests here at the inn in the glade. Ah, oh. wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have to find them. So I don't have any quest point. Huh. Interesting. A little arrogant and haughty. Yeah. Helping the vicar wasn't as straightforward as I'd hoped. I... I didn't think it would have been. He sent me right away to find the assembly place of the Waldensian's heretics, which was no easy matter, since all he gave me to go on was the testimony under torture. 
of a heretic taken prisoner in Kutenberg. Oh my gosh, what did they do to him? I don't want to know. The poor wretch was evidently in, de in a delirium from his suffering and a description of the route to the Waldensian's meeting place resembled more a passage from the Book of Revelations. So he gave me the testimony of a tortured heretic that should help me find the heretic's assembly place. The only advice he gave me was to start at the local tavern. Okay. And did he give me a document? Yeah. The heretic's testimony. What does it say? This account was written down by Master Borislav, and the interrogation was conducted by the very reverend Jan of Osek, Monsignor and Vicar to the Archbishop. The lawful right of torture was carried out by the town executioner Francis, called Shanks, my gosh, in the town jail. He has a nickname. At first, the captive heretic, one Peter of Radek, did refuse to give testimony. The executioner encouraged him to do so by the performance of arts. Let it be stated that he enter- Is that what they call torture? The performance of arts? Let it be stated that the interrogated Peter did long resist the executioner's persuasions. However, he did finally respond to a query as to the place of assembly as the of the other heretics known to him. They met in Ujits, yeah. When the vicar then asked the prisoner to elaborate, that is, who they were and in what house they assembled, Peter fell into silence. So they're somewhere in Ujits. The executioner was again obliged to exercise his beloved hobby, I mean, his persuasive art, which in due course the vicar ordered him to desist, for the prisoner was greatly fatigued. Whereupon he did suddenly find his voice and began to respond at length to the repeated query as to where he met with the other heretics. I began my pilgrimage in Ujits, a den of iniquity and sin, where the people were drinking and fornicating. Oh, I see. This is what the heretic is saying. I began my pilgrimage in Ujits, a den of iniquity, where the people were drinking and fornicating. So I left that corrupt place at once. This is the heretic speaking. So he says Ujits is corrupt. And at once I saw another abomination, the Temple of the Bride of the Antichrist? With the proud Babylonian tower, what is he talking about? I went past it quickly towards the rising sun. When I left the village, I came upon a crossroad, I didn't know which way to go. So I fell on my knees and prayed, and my prayer was heard, for the finger of Christ rose from the ground to show the right path. The finger of Christ? On I went through this sinful land, and I suddenly heard the sound of a thousand-headed crowd at work. And I saw their queen and their towers. Whoa. I journeyed further on, and all at once there rose from the ground the jaws of the behemoth, and his broken teeth jutted up to the heavens like the tombstones of the Moabites. So I went through the mouth of the beast. What is he talking about? And by the road I saw the abode of the apostles Peter and Andrew. I was hungry, so I took the fruits of their labors and filled my belly. I understand almost nothing. Then I left their house and saw two widows weeping and keening. I wept with them. Okay, this is a lot. I'll start at the tavern and we'll go from there because this is very unclear. Hello, Vashek. I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. You might or Take not. Who would know something? The innkeeper, maybe. God save you. What can I do for you? Dear sir. What is happening? I saw a vicar. There anything suspicious going on in these parts? Nothing out of the ordinary, praise God. He says nothing. Well, thank you for that. And, um... 
These villagers won't talk to me. God be with you. What can I do for you? I know you're busy. God bless. Mash. Mash potato? I can't talk to Mash. Joseph? I hope I can be of some humble service to you. Good luck to you. I don't want to play dice. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. I'm just looking for some information. I saw mashed potato over there. <laughs> and Yosef, but... I'm just looking to speak with some people about... These... Waldensians. Ah, oh, the bailiff. Good health good to you. And to you as well, dear sir. Um, never mind. Vashek, but you don't speak with me. He said to start at the inn. Is it too late? What is going on? I'm at the local inn. The only advice he gave me was to start at the local tavern. Is this the starting point? And I have to find my way? Do I have to find my way? This is... Uh, what was he talking about? The tower... The Babylonian tower and the bride of the Antichrist? What is going on? The guy was describing... The route to the Waldensian's meeting place. But it's all in metaphors. I don't rightly know. What? How am I gonna do this? Okay, let's read this again. Maybe I'll get a prompt or something if I'm not on the right track. I began my pilgrimage in Ujits. So I left the corrupt place. And at once I saw another abomination, the Temple of the Bride of the Antichrist. With the proud Babylonian Tower. Could he be talking about this building? If yes, it would be this way. Because what other tower is there? around here. None. None. But why is he calling it the Bride of the Antichrist? Is he talking about... Father Godwin's concubine? <laughs> this is a stretch. But I might be onto something. So let's say... Let's say I'm right, okay? I went past it quickly towards the rising sun. So the sun... rises in the east, right? So it could be this way. Let's say... let's say it's this way. When I left the village, I came upon a crossroad and didn't know which way to go, so I fell on my knees and prayed. My prayer was heard, for the finger of Christ rose from the ground to show me the right path. So I have to look for the finger of Christ? So, if I go this way... Oh, I never went this way. Huh. Maybe I should do this in the morning. Because it's getting late. And, um... Yeah, I'm gonna sleep at the inn. We'll do this in the morning. So it's the following morning. And I'm gonna go towards the crossroad outside the village.
These instructions... Am I gonna find my way? Okay. Is this the crossroad he was talking about? So we're outside the village. I think this is the crossroad. Whoa, what happened to you, ma'am? So, the finger of God, is it that? Is this the finger of God? Let's say that it is, okay? Then what? Am I going to be able to follow these instructions? Is what I want to know. I came upon a crossroad, didn't know which way to go. I felt on my knees, finger of Christ rose from the ground to show the right path. On I went through this sinful land and I suddenly heard the sound of a thousand-headed crowd at work and I saw their queen and their towers what could that be a thousand headed crowd at work Albi this is very mysterious yeah A beehive? Could that be what he was talking about? Thousand headed crowd at work? Could be the beehive. And I saw their queen and their towers. Queen Bee? I journeyed further on, and all at once there arose from the ground the jaws of the behemoth, and the broken teeth jutted up to the heavens like the tombstone of the Moabites. Whoa. So I went through the mouth of the beast. What is the jaws of the behemoth he's talking about? Interesting sight. The jaws of the behemoth. A behemoth is a huge beast from the beyond. So, what the heck is he talking about? An interesting sight. Where? Oh, no, that's nettle. Mutt, do you see anything? Because... I'm confused. I'm a, a tad confused around these parts. It says there's an interesting sight, but I see nothing. Are those the jaws of the behemoth? I'm confused. I'm confused. But wait. Could be could it be through there? I saw the jaws of the behemoth. Could that be it? I go through? I went through the mouth of the beast, and by the road I saw the abode of the Apostles, Peter and Andrew. 
I was hungry, so I took the fruits of their labors and filled my belly. The house of Peter and Andrew? What's that? The, the house of Peter and Andrew. I... I'm a little bit confused. Could this be... Could it be here? go in there could this be something he was talking about I saw the abodes of the apostles Peter and Andrew I was hungry so I took the fruits of their labors and filled my belly I see no farm around. I left their house and saw two widows weeping and keening. I wept with them and they let me sleep in their shadow. Could that be it, the two widows? They let me sleep in their shadow. I went further along the edge of the world and saw the ribs of the great leviathan washed up by the sea. I think? I don't know if it's this way or if it's this way. Let's go see if, uh, because I, I don't see any farm around. So, what is he talking? The fruits of their labors. Yeah. And I didn't see anything about an Andrew or a Peter. Yeah. Is that something here? There's a camp. So a fisherman. You don't have a name though. Oh, but wait. Andrew and Peter were fishermen though. Right? Well, Peter was Apostle Peter. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. I think I'm onto something. Do you know anything about local brawlers? Do you know anything about local brawlers? Why do you ask? I like yeah, why do I ask? Myself, so I'm keen on meeting like-minded fellows. Then <laughs> you're in luck, because I'm in charge of all the Oh, they do brawling? Here. You want to join in right now? Or have you any questions? I just had some questions. Thank you. Farewell. Interesting. Okay. So, it said... He was eating the fruits of their labor, so I'm guessing... I'm not sure. But I'm convinced I'm on the right track. Am I hungry? No. Okay, 
So if this is the house or the abode of the apostles Peter and Andrew, I took the fruits of their labors and filled my belly. Could be a soup. Then I left their house and saw two widows weeping and keening. What could that be? You left their house. So... That could be... The two kind of structures that are destroyed there. I don't really get the... Um, the imagery or the metaphor, but... The only thing that comes in a pair were those houses or those structures unfinished over there. So it could be that. It could be that. Then what? I could follow the river, right? I went further along the edge of the world. So I could go towards the edge of the map. I know I'll be. It's a stretch, but... This is all I have. Yeah. The edge of the world. I never went this far. I'm gonna follow the river as much as possible. Until I see the ribs of the Leviathan. Could be a boat. Yeah. I think. What's this? An interesting sight. What is all that for? Unsure. I'm pretty sure I'm on the right track. I have a feeling. I hope. Further along. I'm supposed to see the ribs of the Leviathan. Which could be a structure in ruin or a boat. I don't know where there would be a boat in the woods, though. Is that a Korok seed? This is clearly a circle. What is... what is up? Maybe that's just my eyes playing a trick on me. Hmm, I'm not sure. The edge of the world, he said. Maybe I got lost. Maybe I lost my trail. I went further along the edge of the world. So I'm looking for the ribs of the Great Leviathan, washed up by the sea. Then I saw two bridges over the River Jordan. Is there a bridge? The only water I'm seeing is this. I don't see a bridge though. I could be completely wrong. I could be... Yeah. Hmm. I should turn back before Sir Radzik starts thinking I ran off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Am I stuck?
What if I follow the river? I don't see any bridge. I... Maybe I'm completely off. I had a good feeling before, but not so much now. Albie is not sprinting anymore. Is that an invisible wall? Yeah. Huh. So it's not... Hmm. Could there be a bridge here? I... I'm slightly confusion. Yeah. An accident. You come across all sorts of weird things in the woods. Whoa! What's under there? I took everything I could? Whoa, he fell! Huh. Okay. That be some uh, could that be a clue though? Wait a minute. Could that be in the book somewhere? Like a pit or something. I saw two bridges. I didn't find any type of bridge. I finally saw it, the gateway to the Garden of Paradise, abundant with foliage. It was guarded by men of straw. They saw me as a good Christian and let me enter. So... There's supposed to be a camp... ...close to the edge of the... I'm not sure. I'll try to find that bridge and go from there, but... These are some tough foliage! Yeah. Let's try to find this bridge. There's a bridge here. He was... Tempted to use the one on the right, but... Coming from where? Coming from here? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. Let's say we're coming from here. No. Yeah. Okay. So it could be this one, right? This bridge. Yeah. And if I follow that. I should arrive... But there's a fork in the road. This is... I'm... I'm not sure about all of this. I'm not sure. What if we go this yeah. way? The 
the road stops. I see yeah. nothing. I see nothing. I saw the ribs of the great leviathan washed up by the sea. I saw two bridges. I saw that. Oh, wait. I saw two bridges. The devil tempted me and tried to lure me to the one on the right, but I saw through his deception and went against the will. So he chose the left one. <laughs> Won't be clear about it. Yeah. Well, he was being tortured. It's fine. I should have read better. I should have read better. Yeah. I'll go back. I'll take the one on the left. Okay. So we took this one, but what about this one here? Yeah. This bridge. But there's another fork. Yeah. Okay. What about this road? Does it lead anywhere? It stops! Yeah. I'm supposed to see the gateway to the Garden of Paradise? It was guarded. What is the gateway to the Garden of Paradise? And where are those guards? I saw no this prompt. Certainly no time for roving. I'm too far. I see nothing. What the? Hello? Heretics! It is I. I have come for you. I just want to have a little chat. I am lost. I am lost in the woods. This is not working. I'm gonna start over. I'm gonna start over. Maybe I messed up. So I'm back in Ujits. And I'm gonna do that over because... The finger of Christ. There's nothing over there. There is nothing over there. So it's not this way. I'm sure it's this way. Everything was matching up. Until... After those apostles... We got here. I was certain I would... Oh, wait, is there a bridge there? I don't see two bridges, I see one. No, I see two. So I take the left one. There's kind of a path. Hmm. I see something here. This is nothing, it's a garden. <gasps> oh! What happened here? The doggo. There's nothing here, it's a woodland garden. With some sage. I don't know where there's a dead doggo though. Okay, this has nothing to do. This has nothing to do. Is 
the Leviathan a dog, though? What's a Leviathan? A Leviathan is a sea serpent. So it is definitely not a doggo. I am confused with those metaphors. Is a Leviathan a doggo? What the heck? So there's two bridges here. But I don't think it's those ones. I don't know what the widows are. I saw the ribs of the great Leviathan. What could that be? Okay, I'm gonna start over because this is not working. So, from Ujits, from here, we have the finger of Christ, right? So, we go this way. And then, the work of the uh, thousand crowded something, but there was a beehive. Then, the mouth of the behemoth could be that. Which leads us to the fisherman camp, which could be the apostles he was talking about. So up to here, I'm sure, and then after, I don't know anymore. I took the fruits of their labors and it filled my belly. Then I left their house and I saw two widows. It's this part, I'm not sure. Weeping and keening. Is he talking about trees? Like weeping willows or something? Because I saw that. Near the lake. I saw one of them, not two. Um. Well, I guess one and two. Could it be that? Weeping Willow? Oh, there's Weeping Willows here. But then... He talks about... He went further along the edge of the world and saw the ribs of the great leviathan washed up by the sea. Could this be the sea he's talking about? Is there some ribs or a carcass or something? In the shade. So he was in the shade. seeing a carcass but after he's talking about a bridge he took the one on the left so this is the one on the right and the one on the left is this one. But there's nothing this way. Could he be... Could he have gone on the other side? Yo, Wayfarer. So, the 
the ribs? I'm not sure. The ribs of the Leviathan. What the heck could that be? And what's this? Bunches of straw. Could that be the straw people he was talking about? But there's nothing! In lush foliage, he said. This is just grass. I finally saw it, the gateway to the Garden of Paradise, abundant with foliage. Could that be here? Or they let me enter. Could it be here? I'm so confused. What could they be guarding? What am I looking for? I finally saw it. The gateway to the Garden of Paradise. Abundant with foliage, it was guarded by men of straw. I feel like I'm close, but I'm not quite there. This is straw. There's straw over there, but it seems far. Could it be through there? Seems I found it. Found what? Huh? Oh, that's their gathering place. Whoa, that was well hidden. What am I looking for? Explore the gathering place. I have to find clues. Oh. Some Russian. So what am I looking for? A wooden cross? A cross, nicely carved. Hmm. Someone in the village might recognize it. It feels... Like I'm searching for a needle in a haystack. <laughs> Find out who owns the cross from the assembly place. I'll be... How am I going to do that? I can't believe I found the place. With those metaphors. I never found the Leviathan or the the ribs. I'm not sure what that was. I was looking for a camp, but of course it's not literal. The man was delirious. Okay, so I have to ask around. 
Well, hello. I am just... Henry. God grant you health. How may I help you? I found a cross. I'm looking for the owner of this cross. Do you happen to know whose it is? Ah, uh, no, I don't. But why not ask the priest? He blesses all the crosses. So, in Father the Godwin. Thanks. I'll ask him. Okay. God be with you. He would know his congregation. Um, hello, Father Godwin. Can I come in? I don't want to bother you in your time of prayer, but. God save you. I. I have a cross. The I found it. said you consecrate the crosses they keep at home. Indeed, I do. Why do you ask, Hal? I was just wondering if you could remember who owns I like this it one. when they call me I Hal. Could, it's cute. But I might not want to tell you. Why? Oh, why? People said they saw you talking with a vicar. They're afraid that Sir Hanu sent you here to help him. Well, you're right. I I want to help him and send him on his way. Well, that is basically true. Jesus Christ, Hal, are you insane? To get involved with a man like that? He doesn't Sir like Hanu that. Sent me to find out what he wants and to get him out of here if possible. Exactly. Well, then we share the same interest. But I'd still prefer Why did to I lose reputation? At the stake. I don't want that either. Me too. You and me both. That's good to it hear. It was just a misunderstanding. Where did you find the cross? Let's do a deal. I'll tell you where I found it, and you tell me whose it is. Very well. Tell me. I found it in the woods. It looked like people met there. There were other things. Candles, a cloth, and so on. Damn it! That really does seem like... That the vicar is right to be looking here. It surprised me, too. So whose is it? The cross is definitely the Bowers, I remember that. But that just can't be. I can't believe it. If they really are heretics, though... What do you want to do? I don't know. But I'll do anything in my power to prevent a heretic witch hunt taking hold here. Yeah. I want to work with him on that. Sir Hanish would most certainly agree. See. It wouldn't make Sir Hanish I trust for the Godwin. My thoughts exactly. But the question still remains what to do about it. The vicar won't give up till he's found what he wants. You know what, boy? Before we do anything else, we ought to make sure whether there really are heretics here. What do you propose? That's a complicated situation. That's simple. Listen to how they say their prayers. What do you mean? What good will that do us? Prayers are sacred to all Christians, heretic or devotee. But if they are heretics, they are bound to pray differently. And um, how will I recognize? And how will I know there's something wrong with their prayers? Yeah. Don't you know how true Christians pray? I do. Um, I suppose so. Okay. But how can I listen to their private prayers? I don't suppose they'll be praying that way in the church. Certainly not. In the church, they'd pray the usual way, but at home, it's a different matter entirely. I know they meet at the farm in the evening with all the domestics. They'll surely be praying then. All right, but how can I listen in? I don't know. Crouch beneath the window? Climb up in the loft? That way you'll be sure to hear everything said in the main room. I'll get on with it. Um, what do you know about the Bowers? What do you know about the Bowers? When I think about it now, they're a little peculiar. What do you mean? In what sense? Well, they yeah. do rather keep themselves to themselves. They attend mass, true enough. They leave the moment it's over. And I've never seen them at a dance or a celebration of any kind. But on the other hand, they give more alms to the needy in the village than anyone. Wow. I can't deny them that. And where did they come where from? Where did those bower folk come from? I don't really know. Uh, I've never spoken to them much, but they've not been here long. Only two or three years. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. And the cross? Did you consecrate that for the Bowers themselves? No. It belonged to the family who lived on the farm before them. That was quite a sad story. Okay. Right, I'll get on with it. Goodbye. And goodbye. So, I'll spy on them. 
I don't want to report it. I want to spy on them. Where are they? I'm going to work with Father Godwin on this. Oh, they're a little far south. Okay. Come on, Albie. The sky is beautiful. It looks real. So where are they? Are they really this far out? Ah, this is their house. Okay. Seems abandoned, but no, they're just in their house, I think. So, I'll listen in. Oh, there's a convenient, there's a conveniently placed ladder. Don't want to alert the dogs. I should maybe wear something. Less, um, not as noisy. Ah, I could try listening from here. Yeah, I'll do it. So far, so good. Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts which we are bound to receive from thy bounty. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 They... They took old Vensel to the presbytery today. His farm is nearby. It's only a matter of time before... Before they come for me. I know. For her? Only? And what are we going to do about it? That vicar is baying for blood, the beast. He will devour you alive. I do not intend to do anything about it. I shall not waver from my faith, nor turn my back on it. My dear, what on earth are you saying? If they come for me, I will go quietly. And I will not lie. Are you serious? Don't you know what they'll do to you? I can well imagine. They don't want to lose I her. resolved. The Lord have mercy. Do not fear. I surrender to God's will. And I do not condemn you if you decide to leave. I'll stay by your side. Although oh. I'd rather that you decided otherwise. So I she's know. just from a different faith. And you have no fear, my brothers in Christ. Stay true to God's plan as I shall. Go and spread the true faith amongst all good folk. I'm sorry, huh. I wish there was another way. You should eat your supper and depart right away. Who knows? You may come for us at dawn. Whoa. So they know the vicar is onto them. Or it's only a matter of time. Okay, I'm gonna... I'll be off. I won't pass the message to the vicar. I'm going to work with Father Godwin on this. The end goal here is just to send the vicar on his way. So I'll sleep in Ujits and in the morning I'll talk to Father Godwin about this. I don't want any harm to come to them. They seem like good people. 
Father Godwin said they were really generous and they were helping people around them, so... Come on, Albie. So, it's the following morning. I'm gonna talk to Father Godwin. I'm glad to see you. And me as well. I... I went to the Bower Farm. So, I went to check on the Bower Farm, and I don't have good news. Do tell. They most certainly are heretics. At least as far as I can tell. Are you sure? What did you hear? The prayer was led by a woman? They're afraid of the vicar. Well, everybody is. They're afraid the vicar will be coming after them. Who wouldn't fear that? That swine finds fault with everyone. Well, it's not like you'd have to try too hard. Mrs. Bower plans to confess everything. Confess what, exactly? Most likely her faith. The people of the farm were trying to discourage that, but her mind's made up. Oh, good lord, that's all I need. <laughs> what am I to do? We have to help them. I don't them. know, but we have to help them. You're quite right. You have to talk them out of it, Hal. You must convince them to run. They have to run. There's no other way. Convince them? That's easy for you to say. You haven't heard her talking. She I'm wanted sure to confess. You have to try at least. For their own good and for yours, Hal. Aw. You're right. Someone has to I'll help I'll do them. it. I'm glad you see I'll it try. Now hurry. You never know when the vicar might come for them. Okay. Goodbye. Okay, bye. I'm gonna hurry. Come on, Albie. Albie? Where are you going, boy? I don't want the vicar to catch them. They seem like good people. I have to tell them to run. Well, it's better than to be burned at the stake, I guess. My gosh. This is gonna disrupt their entire lives. They have a whole house to themselves, and they have to run now. How am I gonna be able to convince them? She was ready to die for what she believed in. I hope the vicar is not there. Um, good morning! I would like to speak with someone, if I can. You. God save you. And may he save you as well. You must flee. Palmer Bower? Do we know each other? Well, not exactly, but... Then we have nothing to talk about. I'm sorry. I understand. Um, it's not who I am that matters, it's what I know. It's not who I am that matters, it's what I know. I don't understand. And and I have quite a bit of work to do, so if you... You might want to hear this, sir. I know sir. who you are, and I want to help you. What do you mean, who I am? Look here, lad. If this is some kind of joke, I have to be more direct. I've better ones. Now, as I said, I have work to attend to. I know that you're not, well, proper Christians. I overheard you at your supper table. You spied on us. Let me guess. You're working for that vicar. Do you want to live or not? As I said, it doesn't matter who I am, but I want to help you, which I won't be able to do if your wife confesses. Unbelievable. And why should I trust you? You don't have much because of a Because I want to save your wife's life. I thought if you could talk her out of it... And you think I haven't tried? She simply won't back down. And in truth, I can't fault her for it. There must be a It's wife. her convictions. That's exactly what I told myself at first. Yes, there must be a way. It must be resolved somehow. I think of nothing else, day and night, except how to pull ourselves from the fire. And however wow. much I deliberate, all I can think, God forgive me, is that there's probably only one solution. One way we can be saved. Which is? 
I can hope that God will have mercy on us. And something will happen to the vicar before he takes no. me and my wife in for questioning. But Something happened to the vicar? The that I'm wishing for another man's death. I'm not going to kill a Christ vicar. Forgive me. I'll kill the vicar. <laughs> I'll talk to your wife, I'll try to if you don't mind. Your wife. As you wish. But steadfast could be her middle name. That's one of the reasons I married She's her. very stubborn. There's no need to upset yourself. It's understandable. You're only human. Indeed, I am. But I thought I was a better man than that. Oh. But enough of this. I'm not here to bear my soul to some servant of the vicar's. I'm I understand. I'll go then. Oh well, at least I tried. Is in God's hands. And as far as I'm concerned, you ought to examine your conscience and think about who it is you serve. God gives Sir, us just one don't chance judge me. in this world, and you're wasting yours by aiding and abetting Satan's pawn. Whoa. You're right. That's why I want to help you. Goodbye. This is going to be difficult. Mistress Bower, my name God is Henry. Watch over you, good night. Especially in these dark times. Can I do I something? say that. You have to flee. Mistress Bower. She won't accept. What is it you need? I've come to ask something of you. Have you? And just who are you, young man? I want to help that you. That doesn't matter. The important thing is that I want to help you and your husband. I admit that I'm a little confused. You've come to ask me something, but at the same time you want to help me. What's going on? I want to ask you not to confess to the vicar. Just take your husband and get out of here while there's still time. I have no idea why you're so taken with my fate. Or how you found because out Because it's your life we're talking about. Don't but you I'll care? Tell you one thing. Changing my mind is out of the question. I won't betray my faith, nor my brothers in Christ. Um... I know how awful it feels to turn and run. I did it once myself. You won't be the only one to suffer for your choice. Or God gives you the chance to escape. Or what about your husband? Does it matter? You won't be the only one to suffer for your choice. You speak of your brothers in Christ. But what about the people in Egypt? What of them? Most of them are idlers, gamblers, adulterers. I was talking about your family, thieves. but... Maybe they aren't folk after your own heart, but does that mean they aren't worthy of salvation? Isn't that up to God to decide? I'm just describing, not judging them. That judgment does indeed rest solely with our Lord. But if you confess, all those people will be in danger. God knows how many of them will end up burned at the stake merely because of the vicar's dislike. The vicar will be the one to send them to the flames, not I. Am I to blame for the sins of others? No, I kind of understand but you can prevent more her. Sinning. Isn't that your mission? But to keep people from sinning? You may be right, but I can't lie. It's against all my teaching. You won't have to lie if you're never asked any questions. Just leave. Mm -hmm. You can preach elsewhere. I'm sure you have lots of friends who'd love to take you in. But I don't want to run. No one wants to run away, but sometimes we have no choice. If you run, your faith will Come on, on, she must understand. Must something. You're right. I shouldn't give in so easily. I've just grown so weary of the endless persecution. You should pack up and run away as soon as you can. The vicar might get here any minute. Thank you. Don't delay. Come on, chop chop. May the Lord watch over you. And over you as well. You'll need it. The vicar's after you. Well, I succeeded. I... That was a close call, I feel like. She was tired of running. She said. But does she want to die? I'm happy Henry was able to convince her. And 
hopefully the vicar won't know a thing. I don't want him to know I was meddling. It's just a little ruse. It's no biggie. Can I talk to Father Godwin? I don't know where he is. And, um... He's not practicing his sword in front of the vicar. That's for sure. Do I have to speak with the vicar? Mistress Bauer was resistant to the idea, but I persuaded her to flee. Hopefully, they'll escape the clutches of that bloodthirsty vicar. And more importantly, let's hope he doesn't find out it was I who warned them. Yeah. No, there's no doubt that there is heresy underfoot at the Bauer farm. But now I have to verify the vicar's suspicions. I shall save, because, um... This could be bad. Where's Father Godwin when you need him? Hello! This is a proper mess. But it's fine. Um... Hello! God be with you. I know who the heretics are. I found them, Monsignor. What am I gonna say? Pardon me. I Pardon me. Heretics. Really? And who are they? The Bauer family and their entire household. Hmm. So well, I tell I expect him. you to give me some evidence. In the last few days, I've been hearing how practically everyone here is a heretic. I found that place the captive heretic talked about and I found a family cross there. It took a bit of asking around, but I learned it belongs to the Bowers. I hope he never farm finds isn't them. Far from here, to the north. And then all I had to do was go there and do a little spying. What of it? What did you hear? Nothing at all. The farm was deserted, not a living soul anywhere. Ha! They fled. So they are heretics. What will you do, Monsignor? It's not the first time the <laughs> Devil's Spawn has fled from me. I'll do the same as always. Track them down and capture them. Don't I worry, hope they he won't, won't get far. Thank you for your help. You may leave. Should I have waited? Before telling him. Just to give them a head start? Maybe not. I'll go to Sir Hanish. Father hey, Godwin. Come to see us. Oh, hello. Good day. And good day to you. See you later. He doesn't say anything. So... Did I succeed, Albi? I'll go see Sir Hanish. I hope the vicar doesn't find them. Would yeah. he? Sir Hanish, I'm back! Welcome, Henry. Well, thank you. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? I spoke to your vicar, and um, he'll be off. It's all sorted out, sir. You've no need to worry about the vicar anymore. Excellent. Some good news at last. I've heard some pretty wild rumors from Ujits. So what happened there exactly? Maybe this will surprise well, you, sir. But there really were heretics in Ujits. Are you telling me? The vicar didn't come to stick his nose in my possessions. I don't know about that, but he definitely suspected there were heretics hereabouts, and he was right. Christ! But they were kind Man people. Man doesn't expect that sort of thing in his own fiefdom. Did you catch them? The heretics have fled. I could not have done anything. No, they ran away. The vicar's investigation wasn't exactly low-key. Anyway, they've definitely fled beyond your estate. Well, oh, that's at least something. And the vicar? He's probably hot on their heels. Hmm, well, I hope he doesn't come back. Me anyway, too? Henry, thanks for dealing with that vicar. You pulled a thorn from my side. Here's a little token of my gratitude. Thank you, sir. I hope I was careful enough. St. Michael's sword? What is this sword? Wait. Is it a long sword? Oh, <gasps> it's a long sword. It's not as strong. 
Charisma 16. Oh, it's not as strong. But it's a beautiful sword. I'll keep it. For now. Wow! Well, I rid the town of a vicar. So that went pretty well. I just hope he won't be back. That was kind of ominous. Anyway, I'm gonna stop here for now, but I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.